I, I just if you, you are sending in a message as if like, okay, so like, can you do this? Please just think once before posting message also, no? Okay, this one. So it is not like a, some uh, education company where, okay, uh, several employees are there where, okay, that one. Huh? So we, in my limited time, how much of possible I'm doing it. Huh? Beyond that, not possible. No human being can do it. Huh? Okay, now, now moving charge particle enters the magnetic field region. Enters is telling. Earlier, the charge particle was projected within the field. Now it is going to enter. So let's take a strip of magnetic field. Uh, this will be very, very, uh, again, the fundamental, which we are going to start. I, I'll try my maximum level best to impart through the diagram so that there's the initial one. Later, we can avoid the all colorful diagrams. So there's the a magnetic field. It, it is understood. I need not to put all the thing. The magnetic field region in this particular strip is directed into the plane. So the charge particle now will enter here with a V I'll project it. So it is having a charge Q and mass M at T equals zero. It is going to enter. So we will define the coordinate axis, rectangular coordinate axis system. Y axis. This is X axis. Uh, anything will happen to charge particle. This is at T equal to zero. The charge particle has entered. Okay, now what to what will happen? What, what, what is the method? Law range four. Just take help of law range four. B bar, B bar, open up again, close all the fingers, put B bar into the screen, then make velocity vector horizontal. Then open up the thumb will be along positive y axis. So therefore, how the force force will act along this direction. This is a magnetic force. Okay, just will write me. How do it will deviate? It will deviate in x y plane. <coughs> so therefore, the charge particle it, it is going to take a path like this. It's a part of a circle. Uh, this is very, very fundamental. Not, uh, I think I'll, I'll show it a circle. Yeah. Then, then finally, it will emerge. Uh, after emerging, anything will happen to particle. It is going to continue to move in a straight line path. Why? Because there's no any magnetic field, so no question of any further deviation. Uh, sir, how to predict the center of curvature, the circular motion concept? Choose two points on a path and, and looking at the B bar and V bar, predict the direction of predict the direction of the force. Okay, the force will act here in the direction. Now produce those two lines. Produce those two lines. I'll, I'll produce it back. Where they will intersect, that should be the center of curvature. There's only alternative available for you. You have to pick up two points on a curved path. You have to tip, you have to pick up a two points on a curved path where the force, the magnetic force you predict, where the two forces intersect, there should be the center of curvature. Okay, this this the point we'll call O. This point we'll call P. This is the origin. The, the point of entry, let me call O. Then uh, what is the mathematics we know? OC and at t equals zero at time t, it will emerge from the <coughs> magnetic field. Now, what is OC? OC and CP. OC and I and select a PC. This should be equal to R. This should be equal to MV by QB. Or, or if you express in terms of specific charge, it will become B alpha. So what is alpha? Alpha equal to charge to mass ratio. I'm interested in the coordinates of point P. I, I'm, I'm interested in the coordinates of point P. And look at the charge particle. It will deviate. It will deviate to an angle theta. Similarly, it will deviate here. I think there should be the theta. So sorry, yeah, yeah, there should be the theta.
Okay, this will be the theta. Okay, what is theta? Theta is called as a deviation. What is a t? T is a time spent by charged particle in magnetic field. Okay, these are the some small basics is what we will try to cover. Okay, I'm interested in the deviation, I'm interested in the time spent, all the parameters, we have, I'm interested in the getting the coordinates also, we'll try to work out all. Okay, let X be the coordinate, the width of the field. Now we'll let X be the width of the field, we'll define it here. Oh no, what has to be done? So one by one, we'll calculate it. So we, we do have a triangle here. If you look at the we do get one triangle. Then from the triangle, so shall we write sine theta and, and what is this distance? This is equal to R. This total distance, this, this is R cos theta. Uh, look at the J advance, never miss asking question from motion of charged particle in electric and magnetic fields. You check it that one. Then rotation mechanics, I say this is very important. We'll study only two, three days, but one question is sure for you. And all the questions are very beautiful and anybody can solve. <laughs> and very good also. Very good, beautiful, conceptual question and anybody can solve. Just imagine the beauty of this concept. Huh? A time spent by. So I'm interested in the coordinates first. Okay, first we'll have some sine theta equal to x by r. So what is x? x equal to r sine theta. What is theta? Theta is a deviation. Can we calculate? The speed of particle will remain constant. The speed of particle will remain constant. So therefore, here omega shall be right here. Just only the radius vector will rotate omega equal to theta by t. And what is omega? Uh, we have defined t equal to 2 pi by 2 pi. This is the first topic. I'll write it everything. Time period equal to <laughs> 2 pi m by qb. Or this is 2 pi by b alpha. Omega you define 2 pi by t. I'll, I'll write it here. So we know other side t equal to pi by omega. In place of omega, what you can write? B alpha. Okay, this I'm going to substitute here. So what is the x-coordinate? X-coordinate will be R sine B alpha T. Similarly, I want y-coordinate. What is the y-coordinate equal to? R minus R cos theta. R. Okay, I have to expand one more. Just wait here. Let's come for this one. What is R? R will become V by B alpha. Similarly, this will become one minus R cos theta. R equal to V by B alpha one minus cos okay this is the expression for the x coordinate and y coordinate of the particle where it will leave the magnetic field then I wanted this theta so theta depends on what is it a given no theta depends on sine theta equal to x by the width of the field we determine the theta I think this is very important. As you vary, if x equal to r, theta will be 90 degrees. So the, therefore, the width of the field will determine what is the deviation. By varying x, we can make the charged particle to undergo desired deviation. This is what I'm going to use for diverting a charged particle. In most of the nuclear reactions, I need a charged particle that should go and collide with the nuclei. How to make that particular charged particle to go and collide? Particle accelerators, the very, very essential part our main purpose, why we are studying all these things? To design a equipment where it can accelerate a charged particle, where it can deviate a charged particle. For that, the basics is what we have started here. 
by varying x the by, by varying the width of the field you can control what can be the the deviation and next few questions uh, what happened to the speed of charged particle here remains constant any reason because all the time the magnetic force will be acting perpendicular to velocity so what is the work done by magnetic field zero any reason because it will always act normal to the the displacement or velocity vector so one very important conclusion what we are making is work done work done by magnetic field is zero any reason for that f bar is perpendicular to v bar anything will happen to the speed of charged particle no it will not change anything will happen to the anything will happen to the uh, say like a, the velocity velocity vector will change so shall we shall ask like magnetic field can accelerate a charged particle correct statement it is it is changing the direction of motion but it not change the speed so what is the work the magnetic field is zero so magnetic field can accelerate a charged particle correct statement magnetic field can accelerate a charged particle but it cannot it cannot do work i think these are the very fundamental statements i brought it here why the direction is changing because of the magnetic field only and now what is this f force exerted by the field on the charged particle what about the force exerted by charged particle on the field will be opposite the field will experience a force later part we'll see okay this is about the y coordinate x coordinate all that one so we'll do one thing here we'll analyze x equal to r by 2 what conditions will come hmm? x equal to r by 3 the different values of x we'll see how the particle <coughs> will deviate hmm? uh, anybody having doubt you can you can clarify Now, what is t? T is the time spent. So, can we calculate the time spent? Yes. Uh, can we calculate the path length? Can we calculate the path length? Yes. This will be the path length. The length that travels by the charged particle in magnetic field. This one, sir. What is this path? Parabolic, exponential, or circle? It's a part of circle. This is something very essential. I'll I'll bring it through the diagram. Hmm? small diagram i'll show it same previous discussion only i'm i am i am going to show a diagram 